It is now the new year, a time that people all over the world reflect on the past and aspire to make positive change. For many of us, this change includes bettering our health and setting the stage for a longer lifespan. This is a goal that we share with well-known entrepreneur and author Peter Diamandis. He's released a list of 10 longevity resolutions for the new year, which you may be able to apply to your own life. We'll explore the list in this episode of Lifespan News. Peter Diamandis is a Harvard and MIT educated physician and entrepreneur, perhaps best known for joining forces with Stephen Kotler to write the New York Times bestsellers Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think, and Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World. He's also behind companies and organizations such as XPRIZE, Singularity University, and Human Longevity Inc. Diamandis is a trained medical doctor, and he ends his list by saying that he hopes you'll challenge yourself to adopt some or all of these resolutions. But it is possible that some of these things may not be right for everyone. And just to be safe, it is often recommended that you discuss these kinds of dietary and lifestyle changes with your doctor. Now let's get into the list. Diamandis begins by saying, There is nothing more important than your mindset in the new year. During this decade of extraordinary biotech breakthroughs, your goal is to live healthy enough to intercept those age reversal technologies heading our way. There are important things you can do right now. Number 1. Prioritize sleep. Don't underestimate the importance and positive impact of sleep. Make a goal of 8 hours of sleep each night. Get to sleep early, wake up early, and get a jump on the day. Number 2. Exercise and build muscle. Muscle mass is one of the most important predictors of longevity and speedy recoveries from injuries. Even a small amount of weekly resistance or weight training can stimulate growth hormones and increase muscle mass. Number 3. 10,000 steps each day. You are never too busy to get moving. Resolve to take at least one hour of Zoom or phone calls while walking. It's easy and fun. Number 4. Minimize sugar. It's simple. Sugar equals poison. It causes inflammation, cardiovascular disease, and fuels cancer. Go on a 10-day sugar fast and cut it out of your diet completely for several days. It's possible, especially if you do it alongside friends. Number 5. Upgrade your community. The people you spend time with shape who you are, what you think, and what you do. Hang out with young or young-minded individuals who care about their health. Spend time with friends who are optimistic and those who actively pursue longevity. Number 6. Do a full body health upload. Most of us have no idea what is really going on in our body. Every year, I visit either Fountain Life or Human Longevity's Health Nucleus to do a full body MRI, an AI driven CT, genome, microbiome, and much more. A key to longevity is proper screening and preventative medicine. Just a note here Peter Diamandis did launch Human Longevity alongside Craig Venter in 2013, so in this one, he might have some other incentive for recommending that service. That doesn't mean, however, that this isn't good advice. Number 7. Drink 2-3 to three liters of water every day. If there's a magic fuel source for the human body, it's water. Number 8. Eat a whole plant-based diet. I avoid red meat, which can result in cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, and focus on a Mediterranean, plant-based diet and fish rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Number 9. Intermittent fasting for 12 plus hours. I do my best to fast between 7 p.m. and 12 noon the next day, providing me a 17-hour fast. It gives me extraordinary energy during the day and helps me remain fit. Remember, drink lots of water. Number 10. Read longevity-enabling content. Be the CEO of your own health and stay up to date on the latest advancements in medicine. Consider reading my AI-enabled longevity newsletter at longevityinsider.org. Absolutely, read longevity-enabling content but you can also watch it by subscribing to Lifespan News. We have a lot more longevity-focused content in the works, so you might resolve to make watching Lifespan News a part of your longevity plan. What do you think? Did Diamandis assemble a good list? Are there any you disagree with or anything you would add? Let us know in the comments below and we can crowdsource our own longevity resolutions. I'm your host, Ryan O'Shea, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.